turning off the gas, the Russian loophole. We are in a situation where I have to say clearly that every kilowatt hour of energy saved helps. And that is why I would like to combine the triggering of the early warning level for gas supplies with the appeal for help to companies and private consumers. You are helping Germany, you are helping Ukraine when you reduce your use of gas or energy in general. Its gas needs are met from uh, Moscow, and it said it needs to keep buying that gas. Uh, without it, the it, it, the government has estimated that the German economy would take a 200 billion euro hit, about six percent of GDP, and they just can't afford it. Germany's government is activating an early warning plan to prepare for possible shortages of gas deliveries from Russia. Dieter Habeck, who is with the environmentalist Green Party in Germany's government, also urged industry and households to conserve energy. Economy Minister Robert Habeck says a crisis team is being established to monitor gas supplies. This follows Moscow's demand for payment in rubles, which Germany and many other importers have rejected. What is this early warning plan and what does it mean that, it, that they've activated it? Gerhard, this is a level one of a three-level response. The crisis team is going to be meeting every day. Uh, they will be made up of representatives from Robert Habeck's in service providers of energy, representatives of the regions in Germany. They're going to be meeting every day and monitoring the situation closely and, I guess, working out uh, their responses to the next two levels, uh, which are the alarm level and then eventually level three, uh, the uh, emergency level. And and as you mentioned, this is in response, I guess, to a demand from Vladimir Putin that gas be paid for uh, going forward in rubles. This something that the G7 group of nations, which is led by Germany at the moment, has rejected. The Kremlin is due to announce on Thursday uh, a set of rules for how it expects uh, its energy like gas to be paid for uh, going forward. So, But European countries have made clear that they're not going to meet Putin's demands to pay uh, in uh, rubles. Um, and this event today, this uh, decision to cut off Poland and um, Bulgaria shows that Moscow is playing hardball. So we are getting close to a situation where we may see uh, gas supplies from Russia to Europe cut off. And that will have huge implications to the European economy. It will force Europe to make some very tough decisions uh, about who's going to get gas and potentially even ration gas because they can't replace all of that Russian gas right now. It's impossible. Now, the one blessing is that it's summer. Uh, people don't need gas to heat homes. Demand is low. But the winter is coming, and without that Russian gas, they won't be able to replenish stockpiles, and it's going to be a, a tough road ahead. Two things, they can encourage people to use less gas. There are, there are small things that people can do, like turn down their thermostat, turn down the uh, level at which their boiler works. If everyone does that, that actually genuinely can make a difference to demand. But ultimately, they will have to perhaps rush at Russian gas, and that means uh, some industrial consumers not getting all the gas that they want. And while that would protect homes and make sure homes still got power and heating, it would clearly have a big impact on Europe's industrial economy. Consider subscribing for more in future content. What has been set up today, I guess, is a precautionary response in response to this push by the Kremlin because as countries like Germany, which are trying to reduce their energy reliance on Russia, they're not quite there yet. They need to work out what they will do in a more formal way if Russia does decide to stop supply. Now, Germany has repeatedly said it would not stop importing energy from Russia due to its dependence. Uh, but how can Concerned is Berlin right now that Moscow may shut off its gas supplies. There is uh, enough gas for industry and consumers. In sense they are waiting, though, to see what these new rules are uh, that are going to be unveiled on Thursday uh, by Moscow. Uh, Robert Habeck said that. As of now, Russia is fulfilling its contractual obligations. Germany, it must be stressed, can't immediately do without Russian gas, but it is working towards that. It's a goal, though, that's going to take uh, a few years to achieve, but the government is saying uh, there 
is no risk of immediate gas shortage. What are the implications not only for these two countries but for broader Europe? Energy relations between Russia and uh, Europe and it's uh, it's a big deal. I mean, we're talking about two relatively small consumers within Europe at the moment, Poland and, and Bulgaria. But the real question is, is this signal what's going to happen in larger gas consumers like Italy and especially Germany. Now, Germany has taken a lot of criticism for its continued dependence on Russian gas. It needs about... It needs about 40% of uh, its gas needs are met from uh, Moscow. And it said it needs to keep buying that gas. Uh <laughs>